why I don't need comments. This video is about um, why comments are not needed. And it's like incredibly isolating maybe. Maybe it is. Some of you want to comment. Well. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, there is an example that I want to, to tell you. Something that happened. When it comes to this about... about um, because what could happen if I don't get any comments is that... I go, uh, how do you say, hmm. I can't verify what I'm saying to anyone else, right? Nothing is going to tell me when I'm wrong. No one is going to tell me when I'm wrong, you know? And that's what I wanted to talk about. Something tells me when I'm wrong, okay? And it's quite fast. So the example is this. I had a discussion with someone about symbolism, okay? Face to face. And I told that person like, um, I'm pretty good at this stuff at this time. And I told him something that wasn't correct. But okay, I, I will tell the story as, as it was, okay? I told him, this is the only symbol that doesn't really mean anything. It, it doesn't mean anything, this symbol. And what kind of symbol was it? It was the spiral. The spiral symbol, I claimed, didn't mean anything. It's, it has no meaning. Uh, because I saw it at some places and... Um, well... I was wrong, really wrong, really wrong. I were really wrong about that. And what happened? Well, I was told. I started seeing um, the word helix around me in, in the surrounding. Helix, helix. And so I I know I know when this is happening when there is this feedback or this communication I can just directly um, dis distinguish when there is a communication of symbolism of the unconscious communicating a riddle to me. So I just know that, okay, there's something about this helix, hell, hell, helix, hell. And I'm like, yeah, but helix, that has to do with hell. And then I look up the etymology of the word helix and I find that it means spiral, you see. So reality corrected me I told something that was incorrect I am capable of being wrong I, 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 I realize okay so I'm capable of being wrong but when I'm wrong I'm notified about it I guess at this time at this stage and I see the text for it it's like okay Honestly, honestly, I, I was pretty sure that the spiral itself as a symbol didn't really mean anything. And I was so wrong. Uh, so I was so wrong about that. It means helix. 
a helix is a symbol that means creation and why don't I have this on the screen you ask well that's because I'm not uh, really really good at presenting stuff wait uh, just imagine you, you see a spiral on the screen for a while and not this image I will talk about this later so <clears throat> uh, yeah helix um, and um, the spiral means creation creation process okay something like that and so I, I, I kind of was wrong about I were wrong about that and uh, I can be wrong I guess <laughs> I guess so um, and but but it seems like I'm just notified about it by by whom by whom no one no one tells me it's reality tells me hey man what are you saying this is bullshit um, you should uh, you should not go around and say bullshit this is what's true and you better change your uh, your ways about not saying untrue things here and I uh, yeah so I will probably continue to have no comments and uh, yeah uh, so let's talk about images because there is a significant uh, fair deal of manifestation going on in, in my reality and it's it's quite uh, interesting of course it verifies my ideas and my point of view in, in a great way and uh, you know it's it's a bit artistic almost how the reality is is uh, verifying some something that is true and so this is when I visit a um, uh, cave in Poland it's a cave of um, stalactite and stalactite you know I should have an image of that also I should have that you can imagine something going down you know I can do an entire video about just this subject about stalactites but it's the thing that drips and becomes a stone and it's basically also a living stone the stalactite it's a crystal it's a living stone it's 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 a pillar it's it's a pillar on the bottom that is growing you know the stalactite it, it's a it's that you know but what is it what is it also well it's limestone of course it's calcite it's calcium carbonate so when they have the presentation of the cave of course they have um, this masonry as the you know why would they have masonry as uh, um, a symbol for what's not what's not calcium carbonate is because the calcium carbonate is in between you know this is just artistic and they don't know what they didn't really know what they were doing you know but they did this like that because because of like reality super brain connect connection and because well when there aren't many eyes looking at symbology the few that looks on symbology and takes it seriously will will um, it will communicate with them right so here I am it com communicates with me but uh, hundred thousand other people will have to see this also when during its time on the wall or maybe even more you know they have to see it also they have to see the symbolism 
that I will have a meaning from. It will be meaningful for me, so they will have to see it also for for all the time that it will it will be there. It will have to be there, and it will be, have to be just so that I could make sense of it because this kind of crazy stuff that some people would think is crazy um, well it's a language of communication and if there is not many people listening it will focus on those that do and those that approach truth right it will focus on that that's what I believe. Um, so, yeah, a few things. I saw this also. I'm going to show a lot of images here. What is it like? Five, five more, uh, four more of them than this. So you have Phoenix, and then you have the three pillars to the left. You have three, um, three things. You see. First Phoenix and left of that it's three pillars and left of that three pillars you see You see and what's the three pillars well It's the right and the left pillar, but it's also the middle pillar Which in my opinion, that's that's the ladder right it, it symbolizes the ladder to to um, to paradise or something um, but the phoenix is here also the phoenix you can see the phoenix in 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 these circumstances when it comes to the alchemical art the old al alchemical art you will find the phoenix there because it's involved and the, and the alchemy des describes this process. Um, this is one of those images where there is a triangle and a sun. I have some of these, um, which I just photographed. Because they just popped up there all of a sudden. Here's another one. Um, triangle you see the similarity right there's some behind the triangle but it's really there you know and what is this well the triangle is the all-seeing eye the sum is you know you know guys the triangle is not really uh, the, the, the the sun doesn't have to be there inside the triangle. The triangle has to do with the eye, the all-seeing eye. And why is the sun there? Well, it's the enlightenment. The sun is there. You see, it is, it is the, it's a symbol of that, you know, it does, it doesn't have to be there, but it is. You see? Then I see this, and um, I'm hiking. Uh, someone threw this pack of cigarettes on the ground, and it's an eye, but it's also a bird. You see, there's a bird there, Winston bird. The bird is the Holy Spirit. And it's going to the eye, the one saying eye. The eye is capturing it. The Holy Spirit is the light. The light is going into the eye. You see? And here's the one that I mentioned. Some, it was a bus, or not? A, maybe it's a bus. Yeah, maybe it was a bus and not and not a, a, a truck, as I said. So, at at the back of the bus, there is, you see, voyages, 
slam, and slam is Swedish for slime. And you have the birds. You have you have the. You see also you have at the bottom there you see van hul, but the hul, the h looks like two that are connected two into one. You see, and that's also what it's about. It's two into one. Two into one. When uh, when the slime. Um, the slime of Christ captures the bird. See, and, and and that's also like that also has to do with this stuff, right? With the eye, the all seeing eye. You know, that there's something. There's a really big subject that I haven't talked about, and there's still things that I didn't say, like a lot of things about you know i did talk about limestone and lime and now i kind of started talking more about the sun so i talked about them separately the sun the light but never really together but there i already have a lot to say that i I really cannot say um, because I don't feel like it right now. But and uh, yeah, it, I hope you don't think I'm how do you say arrogant or something like that. I know that some of you think so, and um, um, it's it, it's not my intention that it will be like that. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely not my intention. Okay. Um, I just f feel that I don't have to say everything that that I feel and, and and things like that. I do say a lot. Okay, I'm 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 saying a lot about the sun. And a lot about uh, the the limestone, you know. There are limestones in your eye. I can tell you something I didn't tell you. The first animal that had uh, eyesight, it was built out of calcium carbonate, the entire eye. Okay. It's the, wait, I'll find it. It's this really old animal. Wait. So, so I the eye is directly connected to to limestone and calcium carbonate because the eye is made from that. Calcium carbonate is made to react with light. It's made for that. It's made for be a part of the absorption of light maybe that's like the highest form of of uh, i mean in some sense it's the highest form of light destruction or i i don't know you know the eye is black the light goes in and it dies there okay not only dies it becomes a particle your your observation kills the light physics will change due to the observation of light um, so they are some kind of opposite okay and but they are also made to be together, light and limestone. And that's why you see the sun inside the triangle. The sun doesn't really necessarily have to be there, but it is. Because it symbolizes enlightenment, maybe even... And it also symbolizes the Holy Spirit going there 
maybe by its own, own will, possi possibly because the light was fooled into going into the eye. And I'm thinking of the slime, the bird lime, uh, capturing birds. Uh, I was going to show you something. What was it? Yeah, that, that animal. First eyes on animal. Uh, images. Yeah, here it is. You know, I'm, guess, I'm just going to show you an image. You can Google first eyes on animal and it will pop up. But I'm just going to show you an image in a moment. You have to wait for it. Uh, and this animal, wait a moment, I'll have some cool background here. This one, okay. Um, so this animal, you know, you, you, you remember it, right? It was the first to, to um, have eyes that are A survival something really good for the survival okay it used the ice and it's made from calcite calc transparent stone it was made from that when it lived because the it's made for for this site it's made for that it's made for doing something to the light Interacting with the light, being a part of the transmutation or something like that. That's the point. And that's the two into one also. This is the... I wish I could, could use better in English. This is the highest form of two into one. The, this is the real meaning of two into one. And I mean it, okay? The two into one is about light going into the eye. That's it. That's it. You don't have to know more. That's all. And what is the eye? The first eye was made from calcite limestone. Okay. And I'm tracing it into the photosynthesis also. Of course it's there, because the plants have eyes all over the body in, in this photosynthesis process. So it's there, definitely. That, that's why. That's why you have to give the plants calcium carbonate. You have to give them that. You have to, you have to crush the eggs, put it into the ground. You have to crush your eggshells. If, if you have a garden... You have to crush the egg eggshells and you have to put it into the ground. It can't grow any, uh, otherwise. It has to have that. It has to have calcium rich ground. It has to be like that. Life needs it. It's so weird. It's so weird. Um, but this is how it is. And I am confident that if you want to say something, it will somehow get, get to me, okay? I will just see it pop up. It's so weird. Uh, and But it is, it's quite okay. I don't need to know everything that you are saying, okay? I don't need to know everything. Um, I don't need to know that, okay? Um, so... You can talk to other people about your stuff. Um, do that. So, yeah, some talk about... Again, why didn't I need... Why, why didn't I need any comment? Well, the example is great. I said something incorrect. I was stupid for a while and said something dumb okay i said the spiral has no 
symbolic meaning. I told someone and I claimed to be good at symbols. I said, this is like the only symbol that doesn't mean anything. Well, it does. Reality slapped me on, on my fingers, on my hands and said, don't you see the fini the, um, how do you say, what was it, helix? Can't you see the helix I put in your face? Don't you see it? And I, I see it. Of course I do. I know this kind of language, which is it's communicating with me. And the helix, of course, it means spiral. And so I know that it's telling me that you were fucking wrong. You were wrong. And I look into it. Phoenix. Uh, what the fuck? Phoenix now. Uh, spiral. Um, and I realize it means creation. And um, that's it. That's it. Uh, yeah. So that's all. See you guys. Remember, two into one is about light and the eye. That's what it is. Um, but some would see some would say it's the good and the evil. Well, some would say that. I would say like no it's even more light not light and darkness but light and the eye it's much much better than like that much better not light and darkness light and the eye light and the pupil that's it okay um, well see you guys bye